Have you ever wondered about what happens after you flush your toilet? In many communities in the SLRD, including all of our member municipalities, wastewater drains through underground pipes to wastewater treatment plants. Solids settle and the water undergoes a several step process to make it safe for human use again. Meanwhile, the solids are removed and brought here. Welcome to the Whistler Composting Facility. This facility was built in 2008 as part of the extension of the Whistler wastewater treatment plant. And the primary purpose of the facility was to compost all the biosolids for the region. The facility was built at a cost of $13 million. The trucks bring in biosolids from Pemberton, Britannia, Squamish and Whistler to us on a daily basis. We're using an in-vessel system here so that that allows us to give really good control over the heat that we need to treat the compost. Also to make sure that we get really good pathogen kill on all of our uh, material. The compost uh, is initially mixed in this big uh, vertical screw mixer that we have here. This allows us to get an even mix of our wood chips and biosolids prior to loading into the tunnels. These are the trays that form the bottom of the tunnel. They're perforated stainless steel trays. So this allows us to get a really uniform airflow up through the compost. We do uh, 14 to 16 trays a day, somewhere between 50 and 60 tons a day total mix into the tunnels. So these are the tunnels. They're 250 feet long. Each of them has 72 trays in it. And the material spends two full weeks inside the tunnels. The airflow is through positive ventilation in the bottom and negative ventilation on the top. So we can push and pull air at the same time. This is what the compost looks like after two weeks. And that's the fungi that are starting to take over the uh, decomposition of the wood waste. This now is really rough compost. And this compost then needs to go down and be cured. And, and when we cure compost, we're actually uh, letting it sort of age and um, become more stable over time. Our curing time is anywhere from four months to nine months. As the material comes out of the back of the tunnels, it comes up into this star screen. The star screen is just a series of stars that are spinning away and the big bits stay on the top and the little bits fall through. So the three quarter inch plus material goes right back around and gets reused as carbon in the, uh, with the wood chips. The three quarter inch minus material that's got the water spraying on it goes over into a storage pile and then gets shipped off down to Squamish and that's what actually is cured. We have a wood grinder powered by two 400 horsepower electric motors. So it's quite quiet actually when you're around it compared to a, a big diesel grinder. This is what we use to grind all the landscaping debris and small land clearing debris that comes into the Worcester composting facility. So we'll grind about 2000 tons a year with this machine here. We're kind of in a unique position here in Whistler where we don't get any wood in in the wintertime. So we actually have to stockpile all of our wood in the summertime for use over the winter. So there will be about 15,000 yards of wood that we put up into storage here. Last year in Whistler, the quantity of biosolids increased by about 14%. And that was directly related to just the sheer number of visitors that Whistler had over the last ski season. This is the finished product here. This compost has been curing for about nine months. Over the course of the last nine years, we've sold over 100,000 yards of uh, compost into uh, Squamish and Whistler primarily. So that's a, a lot of nutrients that we've managed to produce in the corridor and keep in the corridor as well. So it's a, the most sustainable way of dealing with your most basic waste stream.